one side brings Rookie in and the other side brings uh, Shanji in on the Shen and you're even numbers, chances are that Abel and Cold are already like 20% HP. So, what's hilarious is Cream is someone who is like, I specifically remember him being guilty oh! of that. He's and going aggressive. Look at I this. cannot believe they're actually doing this. They're going to get away with it as well. They're going to get away with it. Cold's going to go for it. The hook. It's on to PP. Got it again. He's going to go down. Cold gets the kill. Photic will get underneath the tower, but it doesn't matter. This lane's already over. No, this, this is honestly really great from OMG because this is my biggest concern is bot lane would just get absolutely bullied out. They've already killed the Lux top. Shanji is playing oh, Roman no. Shen. I don't... Okay, Ooh. he misses the hook. I, I was going to say, I'm not sure that dive is actually smart. I think that's the point at which you throw the strategy. Shanji's just staying here. Forget top lane. Who cares about top lane? Just kill the bot lane over and over again. Shanji has still not gone to lane yet. He's got two assists. Yeah, this is kind of like the Enchanted Janna strategy where you just sack your own lane. He's still here. He's still, here. He's still going. What is happening? Oh, man, he's relentless. He really does not care about top lane. I love this. Shanji, he doesn't need Smite to just run around the map and, and cause shenanigans. PP God stun. PP God is All not those kills. You know, I, I'm just going to say, I cannot praise this enough. It looks cheesy. It looks a bit chaotic. Oh, oh flash shots from Rookie. And it's going to be followed with a flash from Casa. One more hit. And Casa takes down Cream in the mid lane. There is always that potential opportunity to try and make that play. As Cream takes a gold card, but Rookie's been baited in the mid lane. The slow there, the anchor to come in from Cold. Rookie flashed forward for the pre. It's not something you'd expect to see, but like you're saying, with the Shen, it can work out. He's a, a low utility or a, a low resource top laner, I guess is the best way to phrase it. He is two levels down currently. Cream is more comfortable to lean into late stages. We all know how broken Cork is. Uh -oh. The late game now cold. Go oh, the it. flash from cold instant and rookie's gone down again. Looking, they are just going to throw down the herald here. And she's just going to have to run away. Uh, Casa might be too deep on this one. There's no way. But Shanji going to be the one to jump away because rookie using that ulti to get up to the top side. And there we go. Rich giving the plates over and continues to build the CS lead for himself. So overall, in terms of gold, we are now dead even. After all of the shenanigans across the game, it's been spread around the map. It's been shifted up and down. But we are now at an even mark. This rookie going to look for the gold card. Flashes forward to make sure that Rich can finish the kill. You know, tipping things over the edge. It was already going very heavily in favor of Rich. And now Shanji is going to go up and defend. But with that longer lane, it buys him more time, right? If he can get assistance to push the wave out, then he should be able to assist. No, I don't think he can yet. All right, if he's got his W up, though, maybe. One or two more autos have finished the job. It's not going to happen for the time being. And that might be a good thing for him, honestly, to be able to bounce the wave. Move towards the Herald, as you're saying. Casa, in the meantime, goes, you know what? Shen can't make the play elsewhere if he's stuck in the bottom side. It's going to be an Everfrost coming in. The stun is there. Shanji is tanky, but not quite tanky enough as Casa gets his set. Translate into this mid-tier one. If they need the Herald, they can throw it down. Oh, but nice wave clear coming out from the V5 bot lane, trying to defend the tower. It's not going to be enough. Shanji, it's a bit weaker here with Photic and PP God. I don't think he'll kill him. Although it, it is Caitlyn looks at the end of the day. The trap's going to come on through. And the I mean, oh, I said, but 60 CS down in his matchup. And so will be a lot squishier than you'd initially expect. Oh, Cream's got to be dead on this one. Flash already used. The Everfrost is there. And Rich easily finishes this one off. Or does he? Rookie gets the kill in the end. I thought he was going to escape with the shield bow for a second. He doesn't even have a shield bow. Anyway, moving on. Um, I think what we're seeing for V5 really good here is uh, the way they play through the side lanes, right? We see to get through the Chinese firewall. So sometimes the game feed is so clear. I apologize. Uh, slamming the Herald towards the top side. Rookie needs to be cautious that he doesn't get dived here. We'll just back away, and this is good answer back from OMG. Five lanes, aggressing on them, using the power of the TF, plus the, the Jace's massive advantage over the Shen, and they will end up trading tier twos. Ooh, cold, so close. Uh, this is going to be another kill by the looks of things. This is OMG blowing this game wide oh. open right here. Howard's going to get another charge. This cold barely gets out with his life. That's an in-hip tower taken by OMG. Cream doesn't quite step onto it. That was damn close. Shanji could be a trouble. Photic 
can't make any plays. Yeah, Dragon's just going to be started off by OMG. This will be sole point if they can just finish it off down to 2k. And it will not be stolen. Carcer tried his damn this. But Flash on cooldown now knocked up. Big damage across the team as Abel goes in. Shen ults to keep him safe. As it's Rookie found out by Kreem. Well, health bar's getting low. Good dodge on the Jace poke. That could have been really threatening. But I think they want to turn. Oh, the flash from Shanji to start the fight. Carcer keeps himself safe for the time being, but not damage. for long. One felt shot. like he's back on form this year so far, but this game, he's having a really hard time. And in the meantime, Rich just absolutely bodying Shanji off at the side lane. Forget the Baron, they're just going to kill him. They're just going to take the base while the Baron doesn't happen. Baron's still on 10k HP, and Rich is going to take this in hip. He has teleport. OMG are in a lose-lose situation. Shanji now going to use the Stand United to get to the rest of his team. 5k on the Baron. Kasa needs to try and find the Miracle Smite here. 2k on the Baron as they look to take things. Rich is just trying to end the game. Baron taken by OMG, but now B5 trying to just force the fight, stopping the recalls. Rich is literally ending the game. OMG will find themselves the fight. Can they protect the Nexus? It looks like it. Rich has to get. But they are so afraid of being backdoored that they are just essentially camping it. They're just going to try and rush this down and burst Cast it. They, it. Get, oh, they it. get it anyway. They just get it anyway. Laser goes on. And they get out. Baby God, it doesn't matter. Cream in the meantime, just one v one. Like a trade off. OMG refused to trade off, and V5 are like, yeah, you know, you can kill our top laner, you can defend your base, and you can get soul. Take them all. We won't even contest. Yeah, this is uh, it's gone from bad to worse for a V5 here as the tower will go down. OMG, I think, might just be able to end the game. They've got 15 seconds until Rich is back onto the map. The in him has fallen in the mid lane. It's a little bit of the safety net. Maybe he can step like a couple more inches away from his base. Oh, no, Rookie! Oh, no. <laughs> what? Collapse the pond. Shanji trying to close the gap. Cold over the wall as well. Flashes forward. Cast at the target. They get away for now. This Votic trying to escape. Abel is so fast though, and he's bringing Shen with him. Shanji trying to now close the gap, but Rich surviving. There's the flash torn, and that will be Rich going down. Flash from Votic oh, to dodge jump. away from the anchor, but Abel ain't stopping anytime soon. Dashing over the walls, charging up forwards. Lightning galore as the spark is exploding. Double comes through from Zeri as it's a knock up onto Kasa here. And Rookie has arrived, but he doesn't have a whole lot of damage to work with. Shanti jumps away, keeps himself alive. And now Aki over the wall, the shotgun comes out. But he alters a minion instead of Kasa. Stopwatch keeps him alive. And Rookie is gone once more. OMG blast their way into game number one. It's 18 to 6 as they style on V5. What a game from OMG, honestly. I mean, that bit of the end. Seeing them just flying forwards, the chain slow from the hex tech soul helping out close the gap and Zeri's speed really being neutralized. But honestly, I had massive concerns coming in the draft. I was like, strategies come out with lane swaps with the Scion uh, a lot sooner ago than you think, right? Everyone thinks of lane swaps as being eons ago, and they were, but I've seen strategies where the problem is, right? Here's the big downside. This strategy was conditional on Aki getting the enemy red buff. Yeah. So all this means now is there's no red buff oh, for Aki. Oh, big all in on PP. Got oh to the bottom Lord. lane. The 2v2 kill. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe you do because it's not going to work out. And Kars is here, actually. And it's going to be Aki that's checking down right at the start of the play. Cold now being chased away. As Abel actually jumps forward. He's a madman. Uh, Abel. Yeah. <laughs> the slow from the Zeri. The stuns from the Leona. This really should be V5 able to take control in this early game. And they need to because my concern is as the game goes later, they have this amazing front line combined with two oh. strong scaling carries. And now Caster is here. So is Aki though. And Rich has not got very much HP to work with. If that knockup lands, I think Shanji just ult him. But instead, Rich is going to go back in. Shanji waiting for the ult. Actually, Shanji doesn't have his ult available. He's just trying to bait on this one, but Rookie's here too. This is a 2v3. This is not winnable for Aki and Shanji. They're both just going to go down. They thought they were baiting, but they were the baited. And now after they both fall, this is just going to be huge damage. Guys, big Crocodile missing from the mid lane. Watch out, but they just over... What? Um, I don't know how that hit, but Fotix in trouble, and it's actually what? cold. Go to the... What, what is, is happening? Game? What is, what is, what is, this, what is this fiesta? Game, man. Abel is not having a good time. Cold's not having a good time. PV got re-engages. There's the route. Photic trying to catch up. Finally finishes the job. Services. I, I mean, Even goes to this, the Craigs, like... gets a sausage roll. <laughs> Honestly, that'd oh, be worth no. it if he did. 
It would oh. Colt's in trouble again. He's actually going to walk away with his life, at least for the time being, as it's just a pure BS that our cast have thrown out some javelins. Cream's hit level six, so he could throw some rockets. No way out again. Like, you've committed at that point, so. It's not the hokey pokey, right? It really isn't. You cannot turn around. We get the goal for Cream, and it means that Carson can just lean to any lane he wants, apply pressure, zone them out, and Photic is just shredding this tower. Yeah. We'll get the first tower. I remember, Rich has no teleport in his bot lane. Yeah. The V5 might have to back off. OMG are going to commit. They are 5,000 gold down at the start of this fight. And in comes Shanji straight into the wall. Full 369 on that one. Is it's 3k on the Herald. They are desperate to commit to this one. They get the Herald, but at what cost? Here comes the fight. As Cream flashes over the wall, it's going to be one. As Cold goes down, support for support. In comes Rich, but whiffs the ulti on this one. And OMG standing strong, standing as a group. But here comes Fotic to clean house. Ooh. Zapping over the wall. Izaki falls as well. There's a double for the Zeri. And there's no way you're landing a knockup onto someone as quick as this. Fotic with the triple. Just felt like the perfect team. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, Mumu has a lot of armor and also has that passive reduction to any physical damage. So yeah. maybe that was. I feel the like maybe the poke build would have actually just been better in this kind of game. But, you know, it is what it is. Here we go. Solar Flare in the mid lane. And Cold is gone. Aki's next on the chopping block. His Fotig is having to just sit inside of his ult. Jumps over the wall, dashes out to safety. Able now the target as he re engages the fight here. Rich kills Cream, and it's Shanji against the world, and the world will win. V5 were not happy with oh, game. Oh, to deal with this massive goal discrepancy, it's 9,000 at less than 20 minutes, and they can just. <laughs> <laughs> Starts from when he gets level six and just kills the whole game from there, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, dear. This has been this has been a game and a half. Rich is pushing. Rich is pushing on the other side of the map. That's exciting. That's good League of Legends right there. Rookie get chased out of the mid lane. Flashes away from the knockup as the rest of OMG moving over. Package available for Cream. Maybe this is an opportunity. OMG have caught V5 out of position. This is the chance. Shutdown comes on through. Casa falls as well. PP God's gone. And into the tie on a super tank to a corky. The strongest scaling champs in the game. And when you give over a ton of shutdowns, when you give over a Baron and an objective bounty, things are going to be pretty scary now for V5. They're OMG still... holding off. Yeah, and they keep trying to apply the pressure from side to side, get towers. They will get this one and without all towers outside of OMG's base. So oh, it ain't pretty for Zeri's enemies. PP got playing front line here. We'll get knocked up for Shanji. Doing the exact same on the other side. V5 will not let their their ground be taken for the time being they retreat to the drake that's going to be cold going in trying to start the fight for themselves but v5 still just such a huge goal lead Fotic untouched as he just starts shredding through the team cold barely gets out with his life here and shanji burns away it's top laner for top laner though we're still going on this one omg cannot afford to let this drake go through the hex gate we go oh, cream what? the first one on the what scene the, the rest of the squad joining him they're gonna find pp god turns gold and keeps himself alive and now able on the front line trying to survive jumps out with his life somehow and now being chased down the renekton into the team as they're being slowly away for the most part they will not secure the dragon soul for v5 it's a pretty big buff, the 50 true damage. Well, at least when you I don't know I, if he did or not, but I respect the hustle of them all following. Yeah, I, the, the team is there with him. I think they've, uh, they've actually just lost the game, though. I don't know why you are where you are right now. Cog goes down, and OMG just going to get chased down with their... With, look at the Hex Soul. It's just tearing them apart, lightning everywhere with a Zeri on top of it. Rich just chasing them down, turns Golden Cream. We'll try and finish the job, but the W's too good. And that's two more kills on top of everything else. 22 to 8 as B5 just decimate OMG in game two. Yeah, it definitely was that big mistake that gave OMG Baron, but the goal lead, even with that, is still too big for OMG to surpass. Definitely some mistakes as well coming out, but B5 will eventually close this one out. Cream, gonna get slowed here. Castle might be able to close the gap on that one. Bit of lightning flying around. Zeri with the Hex Soul, just so difficult to deal with. In they go to buy time. Rich just trying to keep the enemies away from his team who are shredding the base as we speak. Cold moves in, does what he can, but he's taken down by Casa. Nexus Bear, couple more autos will finish the job. Can they do it? 
the answer is yes. 24 to 9, and it's a win for B5. Yeah, the Hecarim certainly would answer that. So it's going to be Hecarim Jungle coming out from Casa here. And it will be Rich taking the Graves up towards the top side. I feel like the Graves' top was the more likely of the options. has plenty of sustain of his own as well. We've got a 2v2 for a Crab. I've not seen one of these in a while. The Shanji gets a knockup onto Rich. Aki doesn't pull the trigger for the time being. Saves the flag and drag. Goes towards the Crab instead as Casa moves towards the bottom side. It feels like Aki's main focus isn't so much just what's best for him. It's like, what is the most I can do oh. to deny Karsa? Oh, flash on the top side. Rich might just kill the Gragas, though. There's a flash from Aki to follow it up. Rich can't quite get in range of Shanji. And Aki now trying to chase him down. I'm not sure how long of the cooldown. One second until the flag and drag. Can Aki get on to Rich? There's the knockup. One more hit would do the job. And Aki finishes the kill. Oh, a hook in the bottom lane as well. Cold. That was beautiful to see. Photix in trouble. Burning down with the Ignite. PP God. Hand in the farm. Yep. That's uh, first dragon of the game taken here by OMG. But a minute and a half until that Herald comes up. Castle already on the top side of the map. And then we can go for a dive. Okay. San Sanji TP top. You know, we have Rich there as well. I guess they're not fighting. They backed away. Oh, okay, shot comes in. Photic, one HP. Gobbled up by Tom Kench. And in comes Carson to try and save the play. But he's ignited. And it's a flash away from Bolt to keep himself alive. PP God is damn tanky on this front line. And Rookie's got Rockets to try and finish it off. In goes Aki to finish the carries, though. And OMG looking good. Two for one so far. His cream is on the front line. But Rick, Rookie is just helping a lot more interference from the team than Rookie has. But... Feels like Rookie is constantly on the back foot in the mid lane in this series. His OMG get themselves a Herald and now look for Rich as well. And this time, Shanji, he's got some help. This time, Rich can't just dash away from the ulti. And Shanji just starts recalling as his end. It is an infernal Drake. Yes, it is. And we've got two Drakes already for the side of OMG. If they can get a third Drake, uh, I have to assume that was timing out. Is uh, We've got bit of trouble in the mid lane. That's PP got down. That's the AD carry down as well. And that's B5 trying to reinforce on the play and might just fall for their trouble on this one. Aki with a great stopwatch. Big damage out from Rookie, but it's not enough because it's 3v5 right now. Rookie's got to get out of there. The slow just goes wide from Shanji, but he still has that explosive cast. And a huge misstep from Fotik is going to mean that OMG have made it to soul point. This is not good side b5 yeah really criminal error there cost them the dragon more kills as well um the thing is it's not an issue if a team gets two dragons okay as long as you're in position to fight them for the third b5 feel confident right they have time and uh and then they die and then you screw here we go aki looking for an engage on pp god Votic is in a precarious spot with the rest of b5 moving over great shockwave onto Votic. But he survives for the time being. The rest of the team there, Shanji can't quite finish the kill. Botix time so getting caught out, and he's doing so much base damage to the loons and the. Uh, oh wait, they might be looking for a dive. PP God goes in, as does Casa, and down goes Cream already. Rookie happy to tank the tower for the rest of his squad as they get out to safety. Cole wants to go for a hook, but he might have overstepped on this one. Fotic feels like with the Herald being thrown down top, kind of just a throwaway Herald, but whatever. Rich still causing massive issues in the side lane, right? He now has shield motion. Is that Infernal Dragon in two minutes? They really need to play for that one. Now we're going to get the charge up in the top side. And Cream will be able to finish this one off. Rookie is nearly finished. Cream off his play, but it worked, right? Cut right to the tower. And as a result, OMG lose not only the AD carry, but both of his summoner spells and that mid lane. They have a Graves on the Baron. Takes zero damage from it. And also could just Deal a fair bit of consistent DPS. It's now up to the Tom Kench and Rookie to poke them out before they get there. Only oh, trying to contest. Cream tries to get onto Rookie. Good chunk of damage. In they go. Shockwave is with the double flash out from the carries into the pit. Oh. And he's taking it. Aki on the moment. Takes the Baron. Denies V5 the play. They went for a 50 50 and they Wants lose. To make the play onto OMG. Having control of River here on both sides of the mid lane. It feels like P5 are looking for a concave onto OMG. Rookie's looking for the engage, but he's just going to be knocked up. Aki denies Rookie entrance to the fight and forces him away. While the rest of the fight is won by OMG. It's a masterclass from OMG. Aki 1v1's Rookie. And the rest of the squad is wiped the earth by the team of OMG. That was beautiful.
Aki played that flawlessly. He just sat in that pocket of vision and he knew what Rocky was going to go for. He waited for him. He expected the same play he did before when he got that flawless package. And he just jumps on him. And the thing is, he bursts him out so heavily. Rookie is forced to Valkyrie away with the package. And without the Corky there, V5 not able to fight. And now, we've seen the sport timers come in. We'll see if they can defend this one. They want to try and end, but I don't think it's going to happen. The TP coming on through. They're trying to get onto the Nexus Towers. Rich behind the play. OMG, they might be overstaying for this one. Caster trying to find an engaged cold. Solo on HP on this one. Rich moving in. But the Everfrost, I think, has been enough to zone people away. PP God gets a knockup. Rookie's behind the play as well. The double flank comes in with the TPs. Double for Rookie. OMG, they had everything. And it's turned to dust in their hands. V5 wiped them off the face of the rift as Rich chases. And he's being by V5 in that passage of play. And not only will they secure those exit kills, they also get the dragon. Dying, but just going to be a dis disengage on both sides. I mean, it's Gragas and Tom Kench taking damage, so both of them will just be healed to fall again immediately. But that'll be a tier two taken. Five feet going on. We're trying to fix it ASAP. But OMG, they don't mind about the connection issues that we've got going on because they're onto this Baron. Now Fars getting fairly low on this one. Rookie doing crazy damage Ooh. with these rockets. And Photic there to follow up as well. Rich is behind the situation. OMG between a rock and a hard place. Able to chase down. Flashes away. Trying to keep himself alive. But I don't think he has the lifesteal. B5 find two. They'll turn it into three. And in the meantime, Rich is just buying time. And Cream and Shanji just can't kill him. He seems to be invincible as OMG just cannot find the fights and when it comes down to the wire it's b5 coming out on top it just feels like omg whenever there's a good play they have to balance it out by making honestly a bit of a questionable one and b5 are ready to punish they are waiting for the opportunity to shut them down cream will buy a lot of time here but there's no way you get out of this situation does mean that there's going to be no potential for v5 to end up the back of this or even take the baron they will be able to pick up the infernal then again, I, I mean, mean, I say that. Hang on, this is their third Infernal Drake. Baron is available as well. There's no universe where OMG can contest this uh, one. Apologies about the issues, guys. Oh, okay, we're, we're, back. Back, we're in back in the game. We're back in the game. Welcome back uh, to the LPL. <laughs> <laughs> Still a hell of a lot. And we talked about the range advantage V5 has with the Corky with the Senna in the late game. Will be problematic. We've had three a Hole Breaker Graves. Not the easiest person to go up against when they have a Baron buff. Caster trying to start a fight here as Cold finds a hook for himself. Abel gets a hit in, but realistically, Hecarim not doing a lot of work on the bottom side of the map. And remember, Shanji cannot. Yeah, he cannot 1v1 Rich at this point. He can't just even 1v1 form. the cannon minion at oh this point. Oh my days, the rocket onto Aki. That's a tank. That's a Jarvan right there. And the rocket does half of his health. Rookie just keep, keeps this up all day long. Rich has taken an inhib in the bottom side. You and know, V5 are systematically destroying OMG. They're wiping them off of the map here. And I don't think there's anything OMG can do about it at this point. We've still got 40 seconds on this Baron. It's guaranteed that they get at least two inhibs. I'd say three. And maybe they can force the game. But I think they might back away. I mean, at this point, you just wait for the super minions and it's basically a done deal, right? They still have the Baron for 20 seconds. I feel like you could just back off, get the Baron recalls, wait for the super minions. You got Infernal Soul in a minute 40. OMG just cannot leave their base. Looks like they're going to try and stay for now and push things in. And like OMG might actually just need to take a fight as soon as possible before the Baron minions oh, get here. Shanji's locked up. He's going to go down. Blasted apart by Rookie. And now the rest of the fight. Rookie saved by PP God as well. And OMG just can't find a break in this one. That was so low. Rookie continuing to blast these rockets out. He still has the package, by the way. He's had this package the entire time that they've been fighting. And in the meantime, Fotic just chilling on the back line. Rookie rips them apart. That's going to be game. That's going to be series for V5. As oh, oh, he go? is eradicated by Rookie. There is no chill as V5.